Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome back to tutorial number two. And in this tutorial, we are finally going to start writing our first web page. So the first thing we have to do is actually save an HTML file. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, save. And I've already got a specific place on my computer where I want to save mine, but you guys can save yours wherever you want. Okay, so just to keep everything tidy, I've got uh, an HTML5 tutorials folder uh, and I'm going to save tutorial one in there. Okay, and because this is our first web page, let's say that this is our home page. And whenever you name your home page or whenever you save your home page, you need to save it as index.html. Okay. Uh, and if you guys want to make sure that it saves correctly as an HTML file, then you can just go ahead on this drop down list and look for HTML, which is uh, over there, hypertext markup language. Okay, so that's what HTML stands for, is hypertext markup language. So let's go ahead and save this now. And boom, okay, we've got our first web or our first HTML file. Now, because HTML is a markup language, what that means is that everything is written in these things called tags, okay? And some people call them elements. Now, a tag looks something like this. So you go ahead and you type in the smaller than sign and the greater than sign, and then you type in whatever the tag's name is. So let's say, for instance, we had a tag that was called tag. Now, this isn't actually a real tag, but you know, just for the purposes of explaining. That's pretty much what a tag looks like. And we usually have two of these tags. So we usually have an opening tag and then a closing tag. And the only difference being that a closing tag has that forward slash uh, before the, the tag name. Okay. And what these tags would then do is mark up some bit of text in between here. So let's say I had some text here then these tags would be telling the browser how to show this text on the screen. Okay, so they basically mark up, these tags mark up this text. That's what they're there for. And we also get single tags in HTML, so we can also go ahead and uh, they'd look like this, like tag, but then there'd be a closing slash before the end of the tag. So uh, we've got single tags and then we've got double tags, which you saw just now, okay? But those aren't real tags, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. And we can get started with writing some real HTML code, okay? And the first thing we have to do whenever we start writing a web page is start off with something called the doc type tag. And what that does is declare what doc type we are using. So basically what version of HTML we are using. Okay, and because we're using HTML5, then uh, we go ahead and we type in exclamation mark doc type. Uh, I, I always put mine as uh, all uppercase, um, but I think it works fine as lowercase as well. And then I go ahead and I type in the word HTML, okay? Now, with previous ver versions, with previous versions, not versions, uh, of HTML, okay, we used to have to type like some really long uh, doc type uh, element in here. But with HTML5, all we have to do is type doc type HTML and we're done. Okay, so that is our doc type declared, and our browser now knows that it's looking at a HTML5 document. So now that we've got that on our page, the next thing we have to do is actually tell the browser where our HTML starts and ends. So the way we do that is by putting in another HTML tag, so HTML. And as you can see, this one turns blue, uh, and most of our HTML tags are all going to turn blue from now on. Okay, so that is where our HTML starts. And then we also have to put in an ending HTML tag. So I'm going to go ahead and end mine off over there. Okay. And this is known to most people as the root 
element, okay? Because all the other HTML code that we're gonna type in goes in between these two tags, okay? So you're not gonna put any HTML outside of these two tags, okay? And that is why it's called the root element because everything has its root in that, in that tag. So the first two tags that we're gonna put in this HTML tag actually divide our website or our web page into two different sections, okay? So the first one is called the head and we have to go ahead and end that off as well. And then the next part is called the body. And uh, ending body. So if I just move my mouse so you guys can see. Okay, now what we've done is we've split this HTML into two different sections. So we've got our head and then we've got our body. Okay, and I like to indent my code. So as you can see, uh, there's a bit of a, there's a tab actually, a tab space. And basically that just makes my code look a lot tidier. Uh, it'll also work if you have everything pushed up against the side as well. It's not going to make your code not work, but it does look a lot more tidy to have everything nicely indented like this. So I can tell exactly where my head starts and ends and exactly where my body starts and ends. Okay. So now we've divided our web page into two different sections, but we've done that for a reason because inside the head, okay, this is where all of our um, background information for the website is going to go. So it's stuff that maybe the user doesn't actually see on the website, but it's just there to help the website work. It's kind of like the brains uh, behind the website. So the, one of the things that we can put in our head is called the title. And if I can spell it right, title and ending title. And what this does is like display the little uh, bit of text at the top of the browser in the top of the tab, okay? So let's go ahead and just uh, put, this is my first web page. And I guess we can just leave the typos for now. Okay. And the body, that is where all of the stuff that the user is going to see has to go. Okay. So basically if I just go ahead and I type in some text or actually let's type in this, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, type I'm in the body. So I'm in the body. Okay. And if we save this now and we run this in Firefox, what we've done is we've just created our first web page. And as you can see, I'm in the body is displayed in the part of the website that the user is going to be looking at. And then our title is actually up here in the tab for Firefox. And it says, uh, this is my first this this web page, uh, because of all my typos. So that's pretty much how all of that works. But there's one last thing I want to mention to you guys, and that is, Inside of our head, we also have to include another tag, uh, which is a meta tag. And you guys might not understand all of this just yet, but it'll probably make sense to you guys uh, later on in the series. So just go ahead and type this for now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and type the word charset equals UTF-8. Okay, and I'm going to end that off with a slash because this is going to be a single tag. Now, like I said, you guys might not understand what all of this does just yet, but uh, it's basically there to include any extra characters uh, that aren't on our normal keyboard. So most of us are going to be using um, a normal keyboard where we're going to only have letters uh, like from the normal alphabet but this will include like extra symbols that actually like they're not even on your keyboard. So most of us probably won't even use that. Uh, but you guys just have to have this. Uh, otherwise, this is not going to be a valid HTML document.
So like I said, it does, it might not make sense, but you need to include it on every single page. So, so that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.